Hello everyone, this is Neeraj Pujari. I am going to present the idea of AHSM that is Automatic Health Scanning Machine. The outlook of AHSM is similar to ATM, but unlike cash transactions in ATM, AHSM scans health conditions of the person by checking their pulse rate, retina and void temperature. These three points help us to diagnose the person for a relatively wide range of health conditions as done by doctors. AHSM will consist of different hardware components and sensors controlled by a software embedded in a DSP processor to achieve real-time requirements. Various slots and sensor arrangements can be seen in the above figure. To access AHSM service, an AHSM ID card will be assigned to a person or a number of persons which may include family members along with the password as it is done for ATM. Whenever an AHSM ID card holder inserts its card to access the AHSM service, he or she will be able to check their complete health conditions at a reasonable cost reduction depending on the services used from their account. One of the advantages of using HSM is mothers can monitor and keep track of their children's health conditions and can take necessary measures accordingly before getting any serious health hazard. Example, most of the children in early age are suffering from low eyesight strength. This can be avoided by early diagnosis with the help of HSM. Let's consider an example. Here the person is approaching the AHSM with his AHSM ID card to check his health condition. This person feels that he is getting some problem in his eyes due to his diabetic condition. Initially the person has to put his ID card into the ID slot in AHSM which is as shown in the above figure. The person inserts the ID card. He then enters his security code in order to ensure that he is the authorized person to access the inserted card. To enter the security code, keypad is used and a touchscreen monitor is used to verify the entered code and for display purpose as shown in the above figure. The person enters his security code. Here the person checks whether he is having sufficient balance or not to proceed further. But nice, he is having a sufficient balance to check his eyes. After checking his profile, the person gets a scan window which provides him with the options as shown above. That is pulse rate, void temperature, eyes or more technically retina or all. These options varies as per the sensors integrated in the AHSM. Now since the person is only interested in checking his eyes or more specifically retina, he chooses the required option that is retina as shown above. In eye or retina scan, there will again be many options such as eyesight strength, hypertension, cholesterol, diabetic retinopathy and other diseases which affects the retina of the person. In our example, since the person is interested in checking his diabetic retinopathy condition, he selects the required option as shown above. Now the person has to scan both his left and right retina. To avoid any confusion to the system, prior to providing his eye for retina scan through fundus camera, the person has to select which eye he is providing for scan, that is either left or right. After successfully scanning the retina, the built-in algorithm in the AHSM executes to provide the result. In our example, the person is infected by diabetic retinopathy and he is at the early stage that is low severity which will be displayed in the screen as shown above. After getting the result, a prescription slip will be given to the user depending on his or her result of diagnosis. This prescription slip will include the precautionary measures to be taken to control the disease. Also it will provide the details that is time, qualifications etc. of the nearby hospitals slash doctors sorted as per the ratings. In our example, since a person is infected at low severity, he has to consult the doctor within the prescribed time period so that the disease can be brought under control. He will be provided with the details of the specialist nearby his town along with their visiting time. Similar to the described person, the AHSM can be used for diagnosis of wide range of diseases by any age group people in a much sophisticated way. People don't have to wait in long queues, don't have to spend too much money on traveling, which instead can be used for their treatment purpose. 
I hope we are able to express our innovative idea nicely. If AHSM is implemented, it will be of greater benefit to people, hospitals and government to keep track of health conditions of our country and to take precautionary measures and provide relevant facilities to combat diseases in our country. We hope that in future the HSM will be in demand as shown in the above figure. Thank you.